Hi, my name's Roger from Becker Orthopedic. I wanted to talk to you today about ball catches and installing ball catches. Some people call them bullet catches, um, basically ball bearings to hold the ring up in an unlocked state. Um, I wanted to talk to you first off about the placement and the placement on the casting for the ball catch. Um, there's, there's a bar clevis where we rivet the bar in. There's also the lower joint clevis here. The part in between that's putting them together, we call basically the bridge. Um, we don't want to drill through the bridge or install a ball catch through that bridge because it's detrimental to the joint. Um, so you can see that I've drawn a, a little circle here in between the two rivets. These are 3 16 rivets. This is gonna be a 3 16 ball. I drilled it on the anterior side of the joint. I didn't want these three holes to be in a line um, because that'll weaken the upper bar. Um, so this is the placement of it. We're gonna go ahead and install one in here. We're gonna use the large ball bearing. We're gonna use corking tools that are sold by Becker Orthopedic. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna disassemble this. It's not required, but it's easier to handle. I first start by marking the area. We identify where the rivets are, so we're identifying the area where we want to put our ball. And I'll send a punch it. We're going to go ahead and drill it. We use, here we use cobalt drill bits, not high speed steel drill bits. Cobalt drill bits are best for the hardened stainless steel. I've already set it up. I've set the stop on the drill over here in the 3 16 So we're going to go ahead and drill our hole. The hole was set up to go through the first layer of the casting and also through the bar, but not to go through the second layer of the casting. So I'm going to install a spring. One of the things that you'll see with the spring, the spring stands proud of the joint. We want to cut that off flush with the joint I use a pair of side cutters. That's nice, flush with the joint. Set our ball bearing on top. We'll use our large corking tool. The important thing to do here is not, not to really try to hit it real hard, um, try to hold it level, try to swedge the ball in so that it's, it's centered um, and swedged evenly all the way around. All right, now the ball is installed. You can see that it stands proud of the joint. It's manipulated, no problem. And it catches the ring. All set.